College football is out of excitement. College football is electrifying competition, played and enjoyed by thousands of young men across America. After all the triumphs and touchdowns, 24 players stand above the rest. They are honored by their coaches as the finest at their positions in all of college football. Their reward is this special selection to the 1991 Kodak All-America football team. The kick is up, the kick is straight, the kick is good! It usually starts right here, on the practice field, the making of an All-American. I'm Bill Manlove, president of the American Football Coaches Association and head coach at Widener University. Thousands of young men across America have worked hard to be the best they can be, but only 24 can receive this special honor. Here are college football's finest players, the 1991 All-American football team. There were a great many exceptional quarterbacks leading their teams to triumph in college football 1991. At Florida State, Casey Weldon's passing and leadership kept the Seminoles number one throughout most of the season. Miami's Geno touchdown Toretta reigned as college football's champion of the long bomb. And East Carolina's Jeff Blake passed the Cinderella Pirates to their finest season in school history. But the coach is selected as the top quarterback, the most prolific passer in the history of the sport. Ty Detmer has thrown for more yards and more touchdowns than any player ever in college football. He completed his amazing career throwing at least one touchdown in a record 35 consecutive games, an accomplishment he openly shares with his receivers. I've been spoiled since I've been here. You know, we've had experienced receivers back every year, and then all of a sudden we lose them all, and now it, you know it's a new type of thing. Detmer adapted to his new receivers quite well throwing for a school record 599 yards and six touchdowns in one game against San Diego State. He finished his career as the only passer in history to throw for more than 4,000 yards in each of three consecutive seasons. Achievements like those made Ty Detmer a unanimous choice as the 1991 All-America quarterback. Offensive linemen have become the Goliaths of college football. At 6'8", 322 pounds, Michigan's Greg Skrepinak is a giant among giants, simply dominating those who play opposite him. To be a good offensive lineman, you have to put a lot of hard work, dedication, uh, and work on a lot of your techniques. Coaches uh, often get on you uh, about discipline, and uh, it is that discipline that's probably the key in making an offensive lineman. Coach Gary Moeller has marveled at Skrepinak's improvement. He's developed so much this year, and he was a good blocker, and now I think he's approaching that position where he's becoming a great blocker. Nicknamed Big Daddy by his teammates, Greg Skrepinak is the largest player ever to wear a Michigan uniform. At California, Golden Bear fans enjoyed the school's finest season in more than 40 years. The power blocking of number 52, Troy Auzine, proved the foundation of this exciting team that gained a berth in its first New Year's Day Bowl since 1959. Auzine cleared the path as tailback Russell White ranked among the leading rushers in the nation. 
Senior Troy Ozine took his glory from helping teammates find the end zone. Four-year Illinois starter Tim Simpson also specialized in creating daylight and watching a runner blast by for six points. An honors student majoring in business, Simpson is also the strongest weightlifter at Illinois since they started keeping records. Game film showed he moved his man at least a yard off the ball more than 95% of the time making Tim Simpson an Illini headliner and a coach's All-American. With senior Ray Roberts inserting his 300 pounds between tacklers and teammates, Virginia led the Atlantic Coast Conference in scoring offense. Whether run or pass blocking, Roberts used his tremendous power and technique to control an opponent and the Cavaliers, averaging more than 28 points a game, gained a coveted berth in the Gator Bowl. Big Eight champions or co-champions the past three years. The Colorado Buffalo's devastating ground attack started with center Jay Lewenberg, whose blocking and leadership skills have elevated him to the role of three-year starter. This 265-pound senior is a diabetic whose outstanding courage has made him a hero to many across the country and the anchor of the 1991 All-America Offensive Line. Jay Lewenberg, Ray Roberts, Tim Simpson, Troy Ozzie, and Greg Skrepinak. The success of Texas Tech punter Mark Bounds was structured around his high, soaring punts that didn't get returned. Bounds says he wears a bright neon green shoestring and wristband to remind him of his mission, to be the best kicker in the world. He finished 1991 with one of the top yards per punt average in college history clinching this special honor for senior Mark Bounds. As Miami climbed to number one in the national polls, they relied strongly on the place kicking of Carlos Huerta. Despite goal posts that were four feet, 10 inches narrower than a year ago, he set an NCAA record with 157 consecutive extra points and has kicked more field goals than any player in Miami football history. 1991's All-America place kicker, Miami's Carlos Huerta. Each of these All-Americans you are watching has been analyzed and graded by coaches across the country. We are proud to be involved with the young athletes of today. Our commitment to help them achieve excellence has never been greater. We coaches salute each member of this All-American team and everyone who is involved in making college football a great autumn spectacle. gets nasty and noisy in the defensive line. But that's where Florida's Brad Culpepper thrives. But not only is Brad Culpepper the Gators' monarch of the middle, he is also a four-time Southeastern Conference academic honor roll selection and serves as vice president of the student body. Brad Culpepper combines athletics and academics as few ever have and is a solid choice for the Kodak All-America defensive front. Thanks, appreciate it. At Baylor, fans have been excited over the awesome talents of number 77, Santana Dotson, for four years. 
carrying a well-earned reputation for making the big play for Coach Grant Tapp. This 264-pound senior owns the perfect blend of size, quickness, and strength to dominate a game. He was at his best in the Bears' upset of Colorado. But in the final minutes, he blocked a field goal attempt that ensured the victory for Baylor. His father, a former pro football player for the Oakland Raiders, encouraged his son to excel. And now Santana Dotson has developed into one of the most acclaimed tacklers in college football. As Clemson clawed its way to the Atlantic Coast Conference title, LaVon Kirkland, number 44, found a home in enemy backfield. Nicknamed Captain Kirk, this cat-quick Tiger senior helped Clemson's defense rank among the top three in college football. Kirkland, who recalls his favorite toy as a child, was his first football, loves to play the game with controlled craziness. He says intensity is contagious, and it helped add All-America honors to the trophy case of Clemson's LaVon Kirkland. Senior Leroy Smith, number eight, came to Iowa as a running back, but quickly found a home in the defensive line. His determination to find the football has made him the Hawkeye's Sultan of Sack. For a game, season, and career, no Iowa player has collected more quarterback drops. Leroy Smith took pride in helping the Hawkeyes to one of their greatest seasons ever. Washington's Steve Entman proved to be the driving force behind the number one defense in college football as the Huskies completed their first undefeated regular season since 1915. He does a lot more now in, in getting off the of blocks to draws and to screens and to, to even quarterback sprint outs. We've got video of him where he's chasing sprint out quarterbacks, you know, four, six guys out of bounds. Washington rode to the Rose Bowl on the Husky shoulders of this 280-pound junior. Joining Steve Entman on the defensive line are Leroy Smith, Lamon Kirkland, Santana Dotson, and Brad Culpepper. At linebacker, the coaches liked East Carolina's Robert Jones, who combined strength and mobility en route to finding his target. The leading tackler on the surprise team of 1991, Jones has his own prescription for excelling at linebacker. The thing that it takes to be a great linebacker is that you have to be real disciplined, you have to be aggressive, and you have to be a, a hard hitter. And um, I think so far that um, I fit those three categories. In the Pirates' upset of highly ranked Syracuse, Jones collected 18 tackles. Throughout the season, he always seemed to be in position to make the game's key play. As East Carolina completed its first 10 wins season, senior Robert Jones was selected among the best at his position. For two years, Ohio State linebacker Steve Tovar has been the Buckeyes' leading tackler. Tovar is like a missile fired at a runner but also possesses the agility to steal a pass and return it 95 yards for a touchdown. A history major, Steve Tovar helped Ohio State gain a New Year's Day bowl berth with his all-round brilliant play. All-America linebackers, Steve Tovar and Robert Jones. side of the field. They've got to pass and pass a lot. He unloads to the outside. It's picked off. The interception by Kevin Smith. He'll go the distance for the touchdown. No player in the history of the Southwest Conference has picked off more passes or returned them for more touchdowns than Texas A&M's Kevin Smith. 
This six-foot senior has developed a knack for reading the routes and beating the receiver to the ball and has become the Aggies' Prince of Thieves. Kevin Smith, All-America defensive back. In Miami's two biggest games of 1991, Darrell Williams played his best, blocking a field goal against Penn State and then preserving a close victory over the Lions with an interception in the final seconds. Against top-ranked Florida State, Williams gained a career-high 18 tackles, inflicting some hurricane force hits on the unsuspecting Seminole. At UCLA, number 43 is Dangerous Darby. Senior Matt Darby says he patterns his style after former All-American Dick Butkus, which means he can do it all. From sideline to sideline, Matt Darby commanded the secondary for UCLA. When coach Bobby Bowden watched a quarterback put the ball in the air, he was confident Terrell Buckley had as much chance to catch it as any receiver. This 5'10 Florida State junior is the Seminoles' all-time season and career interception leader. His yardage returned on pickoffs is among the highest ever in college history. And when he spots the end zone, it's party time. The All-America secondary. Terrell Buckley, Matt Darby, Daryl Williams, and Kevin Smith. Only one runner in the 80-year history of Rice University football has gained 1,000 yards in a season. He is Trevor Cobb, and he's done it twice. He led the Southwest Conference in rushing in 1991 with a determination that often took him for six. Trevor Cobb ranks with the best ever at Rice, winning special honors in the Kodak All-America backfield. At Indiana, when opposing defenses went looking for Vaughn Dunbar, they soon found him on a collision course with anyone who tried to stop him. Dunbar ran with the speed, stamina, and intensity that would not only carry him through defenders, but to the number one spot in rushing in college football. His versatility helped him average nearly 200 yards a game at total offense. But it's his fierce desire to simply outmaneuver tacklers and find the end zone that made Vaughn Dunbar a Hoosier hero. And the coach's choice as one of the top runners in college football. Vaughn Dunbar and Trevor Cobb. Alan Stadium in Tennessee has witnessed its share of game breakers over the years. The latest in this golden tradition of touchdown comets wears number 50. Complete Tennessee 20, 15, 10, 5. Carl Pickens goes 71 scoring yard. Old Rocky Top never roars any louder than when Carl Pickens blazes by a defender. Pickens has caught the longest scoring pass in Tennessee history and holds the school record for most receptions in a single game. As a freshman, he played both defense and offense and has become one of the most feared punt returners in college football. Show Carl Pickens an open field and his engine begins to roll. All the way to 1991 All-America honor. 
as Texas Christian University counted up the points in its winningest season since 1984, a major reason for the Horn Frog's success was Kelly Blackwell. No tight end in the history of college football ever caught as many passes as Blackwell. An intense competitor, Kelly Blackwell was the foundation of TCU's resurgence and the coach's choice as the All-America tight end. At Michigan, fans of the Wolverines are asking Desmond Howard, how do you make those circus catches? Once I get home and watch the film, I ask myself the same question, but in the heat of battle, you really don't realize how spectacular or a greater catch may look to the fans. I like to just look it right into my hands and make sure I secure, secure the catch. After that, then I usually hit it in the roar of the crowd. Desmond Howard is college football's most electrifying talent. With his uncanny ability to curl under a football and cradle it like a valuable treasure, he has caught more touchdowns than any player in Big Ten history. Desmond Howard is special because he has good God-given talent, but Desmond has also developed it. His presence is felt at every time, whether it's in a punt return, whether it's in a kickoff return, running a reverse, catching a pass. He's just a very, very special player and one of the greatest players I'd have to say in Michigan history. Desmond Howard! The drops back and there's a slap to Howard, touchdown! The toss, the end around, here comes the Magic Man. Howard's got it at the 25, he cuts in. Howard will cut again and score. Touchdown, Michigan! All-America receivers Desmond Howard. Kelly Blackwell and Carl Pickens. The Coaches Association is dedicated to maintaining the highest possible standards in both the game of football and the profession of coaching football. And we are extremely proud of each of the young men who has been named to the 1991 All-American Team. Once again, the 1991 All-America Football Team.